Hi, Divine Masculines. This is going to be a reading for Divine Masculines. Okay. Guys, this is going to be y'all reading for August the 10th, August the 11th, August the 12th, 2023. I hope y'all find like wine, Divine Masculines. All right. Spirit guides, my God, the angel, or angel ancestors, ascended masters, my God, our angel, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for divine masculine? What are the messages for divine masculine spirit? What are the messages for divine masculine? What is going on in divine masculine's life, spirit guys? Divine masculine. What are divine masculines thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? What are they going through, Spirit? Give me all of it. All of it. <laughs> divine Masculines. What is going on in Divine Masculine's life? Divine Masculine, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you can be a Scorpio watching an Aquarius, or you could be any sign, but someone is bitter, sour. Uh, King of Cups, Scorpio. You can be a Scorpio or this could be a Scorpio that's giving you that dirty love. <laughs> and yeah, or you can be Aquarius. Someone could be ascending, enlightening, doing some spiritual work. Some Someone could be very spiritual or changing, you know, healing. Okay, someone could be a star sea, earth angel, chosen one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, Divine Masculine, Spirit Guides, give me more, give me more for Divine Masculines. What is going on in a Divine Masculine's life, Spirit? What are the messages for Divine Masculines? Hmm, some of you guys can be Earth Signs. Some of you guys can be meeting the Earth Sign. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Someone could be um, visiting family. Um, some of the bad masculines, I don't know, you could be visiting your family, going to family houses, meeting someone new, or you could be, I don't know, some type of business. I don't know, some of you guys see someone's wife material, you know, this could be your exes or someone new, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. What are the message spirit guys for divine masculines? Okay, let's get these cards together. Divine masculine. Someone could be homeless, struggling, juggling, going through something as well. Divine masculine. <clears throat> or oh, this could be something about someone's childhood. Someone feels abandoned, neglected. Someone could be going through that now. Or this could be someone's childhood. They, um, something... Someone could be going through money problems, juggling, struggling, for, uh, not having faith, not believing in themselves, giving up on themselves. Like someone could, could have like abandoned a child, neglected a child, or was you know have been neglected or abandoned when they was a child. Okay, spirit, give me more on divine masculine. All right, divine masculine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Divine masculine. Hmm. So, the bottom card is the star card. So, you can be Aquarius, or this could be Aquarius that you know. But, like, someone could be, like, um, someone could be doing some spiritual detox, cleansing, yoga, exercise. Someone could be in a park or need to go to the park. Like someone could be um, doing some spiritual work. You could be a practitioner, a light worker, a healer, or something like that. Like someone's healing themselves. Someone getting to know who they are, they worth, they calling, what they should be doing, what they're supposed to be doing. So either this is Aquarius, female, or this could be you, uh, Divine Masculine. But like someone's changing. Someone could be, someone could have some type of star quality, qualification, you know, material. Like you could be a singer, a dancer, a rock star, a rapper, a reader, a model, actress, or actor, 
a photographer, <clears throat> excuse me, you could be a healer, a spiritual healer, practitioner, a light worker. But someone, like I said, someone is like, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Divine masculine. So, spirit. Okay. We have the first card is the fool card. So this could be Aquarius. So then we got the bottom card is Aquarius, star card. The top card is Aquarius, the fool card. So either this is you, divine masculine, or this is an air sign, Aquarius, that's coming towards you. That like someone's taking a leap of faith. Someone's moving on, moving forward. Someone could be leaving something behind, a situation, a relationship, or who whatsoever. Or someone could be going out on a date, meeting someone, hooking up with someone, Taking someone some flowers, someone could be going on a picnic, lunching, fishing. Some of you guys like to fish, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, or this could be an air sign that's coming towards you, okay? So, you could be meeting up with an air sign, Aquarius, okay? Or this could be you, all right? Someone thinks someone's a damn fool. Someone thinks someone's naive, gullible, easy, all right, but pay attention, listen to the red flags, you know, your intuition. If something don't seem right, feel right, is someone calling you to say, hey, the bad masculine, come and meet me somewhere, or let's let's hook up, you know, meet me here. If your intuition trying to tell you something, all right, you know what I mean? Like, it could be any sign. It could be someone like your animal, something happened to your animal, or something like Somebody might get, like, you might fall or trip over something. Uh, um, how can I put it? Or, you know, you could be into your psychic abilities. If you're very intuitive, something's going to ring a bell, okay? It's going to try to throw you off so you won't go or meet this person. You understand what I'm saying? Seth, for instance, like me, okay, I... Just got to talking to someone on the phone yesterday. Be like, yeah, let's hook up. Let's do this. Let's blah, blah, skippy, you know. And, you know, they might sound good on the phone. They might be nice or cool. It's no matter how you've been, long, like, knowing a person. You could know a person for a long time and still don't know them, okay? So, Seth is like, I'm not supposed to go out on a date with the person that I talked to on the phone. So the next day comes, she, I'm like, okay, I'm figuring to go out on a date. And this had happened to me. This is what I'm telling you is for real. This is how it happened to me. That's how I know I'm protected. That's how you'll know you're protected. Your guys are with you, you know. So you finna go hook up, you know. You, know, you want to go out, you want to kick it. And somebody call you, let's go kick it. Let's go out to dinner. Let's kick it. Let's get drink. Let's smoke, pop smoke, whatsoever. You're like, okay, cool. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's, you know. And so tomorrow comes, something happened. Let me tell you how it happened to me. How I know my spirit guides are protecting me. How I know that God's rejection is God's protection. Because, so for instance, I'm feeling ready to go out the next day and then something happened. I come on my bloody Mary Jesus. Okay? You know, if y'all guys know what that mean. Okay? And then I'm like, damn, why I'm on so fast? I'm not supposed to come on today. I'm supposed to come on next week. You know, some shit like that. And that's God's rejection is God's protection. It's God letting you know that um, don't hook up with that person. Don't go out that person. Don't meet. God is trying to protect you from whoever, who whatsoever that's trying to get you to meet them somewhere or go out or whatever. Because, you know, this dude might be on something. This female might be on something. You know, so that's what I'm trying to get you to understand, like, God has showed me a lot of things, like, came to me, like, like whoa. I'd be like, damn, am I supposed to go out? But what, what, what? This came up. Why is this happening? It's because of God. Rejection is your protection. It's not meant for you to go out or hook up with that person, okay? So let me shut up. <laughs> we have the emperor, okay? The bad mask, and that's you. You could be an Aries, okay? Or you could be any sign. So, emperor is a father figure, a baby daddy, okay, a supervisor, a manager, provides um, a CEO, or somebody, a boss, or something like that. So, I don't know if somebody's fucking around with a, uh, uh, yeah, divine masculine, yeah, so that can be you or a baby daddy, if somebody wants to establish, I don't know if you want to establish a relationship with someone, work, 
business or something. So I don't know. Like I said, you could be hooking up with somebody could be hooking up with their clients, their employees. I don't know. I'm just saying. So Emperor, that's you, Divine Masculine. This is you. You're about business. You're a boss. You're a leader or something, entrepreneur or something like that, right? Okay, I'm not talking about no deadbeat, want to be divine mask. I'm talking about a real divine mask. Let's see what's going on with this. So you could be a business person. You could be one to establish some type of relationship, business. It could be business and pleasure. I don't know. You, you're someone that's in control, all right? You're about business. So, you know, whoever you are, or this could be someone's father or parent, that, you know, maybe you want to establish some type of relationship with your parents. Okay, anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to clarify some of these cards, okay? We have King of Swords. Here we go with Air Sign again. Like I said, you could be the Air Sign, the Bad Mask, or this is the Air Sign you're dealing with. But this King of Swords is like somebody is not to be fucked with, played with, okay? Somebody mean business. Somebody is straight up like, hey, setting boundaries, Draw on the line, put motherfuckers in their lane. Uh, it's, this is somebody that's cold hearted. The reason why this person is cold hearted because she's been lied to, betrayed, you know, hurt and shit or whatsoever. And this is somebody see through someone's bullshit. They don't got time for the bullshit. They will cut you off, you know. Yeah, they will slice you and dice your ass. So this is somebody that seep through someone bullshit. They don't got time for the bullshit. All right. Also, this King of Swords could be someone that's cold hearted, blooded. They don't give a fuck what they say out their mouth. They don't give a fuck how they talk to you. They could also be someone that's very controlling. Like I said, uh, uh, I can say very critical. They loves to criticize people um, and shit like that. Like. I would say mentally abusive because this is somebody that likes to put someone down, talk shit about them, criticize, get jealous or envy. Okay, so the bad masculine, like I said, this could be you or this could be an air sign. Or it can be any sign, guys, okay? So this is somebody that don't play, all right? So, yeah. We have the page of cups, the bad masculine. Hmm. So this is a cancer. This is someone's young. They can be young and dumb and full of calm. They can be young and intelligent and smart. So it can go both ways. Okay. Somebody wants to give someone something. A gift or a present. Somebody wants to say they sorry. They want someone's forgiveness. They want to be friends. They want to ask someone out. Smoke, drink, pop smoke. This can be someone that's very immature. They can be a grown-ass per person and petty as hell, childish. So this could be someone playing childish games, immature, trying to get someone back or trying to get revenge, sneaky, you know. Or they, this could be someone that's just nice and generous. They can be young and smart. They could be someone that just wants to get to know you, help you, talk to you, or who whatsoever, okay? Yeah... Hmm. Yeah, divine masculine. And you, yeah, you could be dealing with an air sign. This could be someone. Oh, like someone's feeling pleased and smudged and satisfied. Divine masculine, you be feeling pleased and smudged and satisfied about someone or uh, something that you'd like to do. It could be drinking and smoking. You could be feeling intoxicated a little bit, feeling high, feeling yourself. Wish fulfillment. Someone's feeling, you know, feeling good. Like someone could have some type of drug addiction, sex addiction. Like someone sleeps around. Someone very promiscuous as well. It can be both ways. Or this could be someone who's feeling passionate about someone. Someone could be fantasizing, daydreaming about someone. Um, got sexual feelings, sexual thoughts. I know someone can be addicted to someone's sex, addicted to someone, or addicted to a lot of sex. <laughs> this speaks about wish fulfillment. Someone's waiting, watching, looking at someone. So, Divine Masculine, I don't know if this is you. This could be you watching someone. You could be attracted to someone. 
maybe you like how someone walk, dress, smell, talk. Like you feel pleased when you see someone. You it's like somebody makes your day when you see them. When you you know what I'm saying? It's like you want to get to know this person. You want to talk to this person. You know, you're attracted to this person. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, this person can be an air sign or it can be any sign, okay? But someone's feeling smudged and pleased and satisfied. Like when they see someone, they like someone's perfume. I don't know, maybe you like someone's perfume or uh, the, you know. But like, yeah, it's like somebody wants to get someone drunk and high. I, you know, someone's feeling like feeling good, feeling itself, you know. Yeah, divine master, you could be waiting on some type of money, inheritance, lawsuit. Some type of business, success, your career, things are paying off. A lump of sum of money, you could be waiting on some money or something like that. Like I said, this could be your business, career, you could be dealing with an earth sign. It could be an earth sign that's giving you money. Could, this could be a promotion, a contract, a record label, record deal, something. Something that you're waiting on. A lump of sum of money, a lottery win, okay? Some type of money business, some type of money that's owed to you. That's coming to you. Like someone's feeling good. Like somebody feeling on top of the world. The bad mask. And you feeling like, okay. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is this could be um Yeah, this air sign. Um, I don't think they want to be bothered with you. Like somebody is like, I don't know, divine masculine. Um There can be um, divine masculine. I don't know. You could be leaving a relationship behind or something, walking away from someone, packing your clothes, lifting heavy things, lifting weights. So somebody could be moving, carrying a lot of bags. I know someone could be like, yes, yeah, I know so you got this lump of some money, divine masculine, or something that you got. You could be moving, moving away from someone. This could be someone, something that you're covering up, hiding. You keep it to yourself or something like that. Like, you could be walking away as soon as you get this money. You leaving someone. You leaving something behind. Or someone's... I know it feels like a weight. Something burdening, like problems or issues. Or something about, like, someone feels like you're a burden. Or, like, this air sign. I <laughs> But I don't know, someone could be like telling you to get out, kicking you out. This is weird. But I'm going to clarify some cards. I'm just, you know, that someone could just getting out of jail or going to jail or leaving someone, a relationship. Like someone's feeling burdened, tired. Like, okay. So, oh, it's like somebody got something attached to them demons spell work like someone could be dealing with a capricorn virgo taurus or you can be a capricorn virgo taurus like somebody's toxic negative like somebody got something dark demonic attached to them i don't know if they curse or spell work it's been put on you to ban masculine or you put it on someone it's just weird you someone could you could be leaving a toxic family or your family, a relationship. Somebody could be leaving a relationship behind, or a karmic partner. Yeah, be very careful with this page of cups, divine masculine. This is somebody. This could be someone that got something up their sleeve. Okay, this can be. Um, Someone that's jealous of you, they're just trying to be in your business, all right, pretending like they like you or just to find out something about you or do something to you. So this could be at a workplace. These people is not your friends or these they're your family or somebody is like jealousy, hate, envy, toxic, demonic, dark. Somebody could be on drugs, like somebody could be hanging around the wrong people. In the wrong relationship, 
unhealthy relationship, someone needs to let go of someone, let go of these people, let go of something. It could be anything, drugs, drinking, alcohol, or whoever. Okay, Divine Masculine. Hmm. Yeah, so the devil card, like I said, you could be leaving these people behind, Divine Masculine, walking away from these people, a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, a group of people. This could be your family. These people could be, like I said, negative, toxic, narcissistic, flying monkey devils. Okay. Yeah, it's an unhealthy. You could be breaking free from these people or from a cult or like some type of. I don't know, witchcraft, juju, hoodoo, voodoo, somebody head on you, put on you. I don't know. You realize or some shit. Yeah, you praying, Divine Mask. Is this you praying? Somebody's praying, hoping that they had sex with someone. That they could get someone drunk and high. Someone could be hiding the STD, okay? Don't get me wrong, I'm just saying. Yeah. Like somebody's praying, hoping, wishing. Someone could be dreaming about someone having wet dreams. Divine masking. You could be having wet dreams about an air sign, about someone, or someone having wet dreams about you. Okay? But someone could be dreaming, missing someone, praying for someone, hoping that someone take them back, wishing on a star. <laughs> Okay, spirit, let me see. This is so crazy. Something about money is going to have somebody pissed off or mad. Like, okay, let's see, spirit. We're going to clarify some cards. Spirit, give me more on the nine of cups for divine masculine. Yeah, divine masculine. Like someone's way down. Yeah, Divine Masculine. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be watching a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, Page of Swords, you could be stalking this person, spying on this person. Driving past their house. Or oh, you know this person. You might have a feeling that this person might not like you or want you anymore or you might not be attracted to this person so it can go both ways the bad masculine okay yeah you watching someone someone's you watching someone the bad masculine stalking spying being very deceptive someone's being you know Just a minute, Divine Masculines. Let me do something. Hmm. Yeah, some of you guys can be like, I don't know. Like I said, um, stressed out, missing someone, grieving over someone. Um, like, praying and shit. Like praying, hoping someone would take you guys back, accept you, like you. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on. Yeah. So someone could be like having dreams, sexual dreams about someone. A master get like masturbating. I said masturbating. Like someone could be masturbating, dreaming and fantasizing, masturbating. So, Divine Master, you could be masturbating, like, playing with yourself. <laughs> so, you give me more <laughs> on the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> so, you give me more on the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, shit. 
So something about the truth, the ace of swords coming out. Something about the truth about someone's money, about someone's career, success. Someone's speaking the truth. Someone's finding out the truth. The truth is coming out about some money, about someone's career. Someone's speaking the truth. Someone know the truth about someone's money, work, money, something, some money that they're getting. Like the truth coming out about someone's money. A lottery win. Maybe you won a lottery and someone found out about it. Okay. <laughs> Something about money, a job, maybe someone found that somebody was working, you know, hiding money, stealing money. It could be both ways, honey. The truth, the ace of swords, the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords. Okay. So something about money. Something about someone's success, career, an earth sign, about money, something about money. So it could be anything. So give me more on the um, Ten of Wands for uh, Divine Masculine. What's the Ten of Wands spirit for Divine Masculine? What's the Ten of Wands? Give me more on the Ten of Wands spirit for Divine Masculine. Let me see. So give us a page of pentacles. What's the page of pentacles? Something. Oh. This is so weird. So we give me more than 10 of wands for divine masculine. I don't know if this person's hiding a child. They can be hiding a child. They can have a child. Or they can be hiding a child. Or Trying to keep it a secret, keep it a cover. Uh, something about a child. Someone's childhood. Someone acts like a child. So it was the Ten of Wands. It was the Ten of Wands. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. So something about money, hiding money, stealing money. Someone could be struggling, juggling, begging for money. So the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles with that. It's truth about money, a truth about help or support, some type of assistance. Maybe someone's faking like they're helping you, Divine Masculine, or you faking like you're helping someone. That's something about money. Someone could have lost their job. Someone could be on the streets begging for food, for money. Like someone could have been hiding money from someone. Divine masculine. Something about money. A decision about money. Something about a job. I don't know if someone's walking away from their job. Or their boss is not paying them enough for money. Like I said, something about a job, Six of Pentacles. Like someone could have lost their job, you know, looking for a job. Like someone could be faking, pretending like they're helping you, Divine Masculine. Or you're faking, or somebody wants to breadcrumb someone. I don't know, somebody wants someone to bag them, get on their knees, struggle, juggle. Like somebody could be doing something funny with someone's money. Okay. Like someone could be broke, lost their job. Like somebody don't want to be bothered with someone because they don't have no money. They broke. Something. Something about money. Child support, some type of money. Somebody. So we give me more on the devil. What's the devil about? The four of pentacles. So whoever you're dealing with divine masculine, it's like somebody's trying to take and steal high money from you, keep it a secret, holding on to you, holding on to some money, something that somebody's doing, an earth sign. Or you can be the earth sign. 
You just never know. But this is an earth sign. This can be people that you work with around, a common partner, common family. This is someone's holding back something from you. It could be affection, love, money, hiding something, putting something in a hole, keeping something in a hole, holding back. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Or this is an earth sign that's trying to do this to you. Take, steal something from you. Now this page of cups. Now hold it back low. Somebody don't want to let you go divine masculine. These people, so-called family, so-called friends. Someone could be into the culverts. Like someone could be into a uh, witchcraft. Like somebody's holding on. Someone could be doing spell work on someone's money. Like someone's trying to hold someone back. Hold back money. Hold back information. Hold back someone's success. Like someone's trying to make someone feel some kind of way, some type of way. Somebody don't want someone to move on, move forward. Whoever you hanging around, divine masculine, and these people are not your friends or your family. These people are dog and demonic. It's like somebody holding back from you, doing it on purpose. Spirit, give me more on this um, nine of cups. Spirit, give me more. No, give me more on the um, yeah, the nine of cups for divine masculine. What's the nine of cups, spirit? Oops. Yeah, that's you, Divine Master. That's strength. That's you, honey. So, Spirit's trying to tame. You need to slow down. You need to calm down or something. Divine Master, is something. You're going crazy over an air sign. Could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Spirit is keeping you back from this person or your day spirit guys could be keeping you back from them. But someone have an anger problem. Someone needs to control themselves. It's like somebody's desperate, obsessed with someone. Nine of Wands, anxiety, mental illness, mental disorders. It's like someone's going, like someone's like watching, trying to get information. Like some type of clarity, closure, divine masculine. So this could be you looking at this air sign. You want this person real bad. It's like you fantasize about this person. You dream about this person. You have wet dreams about this person. Like I said, this could be an air sign. Yeah, you feel like, I don't know, you've been through some shit. It's like, it's like you can't control yourself or something. It's like you can't help it. You watching this person. This person can have a social media. You can have a social media, a public, or whatever. But it's just like you, somebody's going crazy. You stressed out. You depressed. You have anxiety. This star card can, like I said, this person can be an earth angel, a star seed, a chosen one. This is someone you in love with. This person can be a star, popular, in the social media, public eye. You see this person change. You looking at this person, Divine Masculine? This person is a healer. This person is a star seed. This person is very protected. They spiritual. They a healer. You want to talk to this person. You want to assess them to this person. Maybe you used to deal with this person a long time ago. You miss this person. You still love this. I don't know. Ooh, Divine Masculine, you something else. Yeah, you could be thinking about going towards this person. Yeah. You see this someone's different. This is an earth angel. Okay? This is someone that's a healer, a practitioner. This is somebody that's, you looking at this person like you can't believe this person is a star now. You said, when this person wasn't with me, you said, when this person was with me, I didn't see that star in that person. I didn't see that person work. But now you see this person work. This person is different from all the rest of the females or whoever you used to deal with. It's like this is somebody you just memorize. You can't get your eyes off. It's like you're in a shark. <laughs> and you're thinking about coming towards this person. You're watching, you're stalking, masturbating, looking at this person. This person is like queen of pentacles. This person can be focused on their self, their health, their wealth, their money. You could have betrayed this person in some kind of way, divine masculine. 
Yeah. Like somebody's dealing with mental illness. I'm not trying to be funny. You love this person. It's like you obsessed with this person. You watch this person online, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or whatever. You watching this person. Do you feel like this person still belongs to you? If I'm asking, you feel like this person belongs to you. You still like y'all two still together? Like you feel like you lost control? You used to have control? You used to... Like, what I mean by control, this person used to, like, be in love with you. This person loved you. Y'all was like Bunny and Clyde. It's like now you watching this person, you're trying to see how can you get this person back in your arms again, Divine Masculine. You'd like, this person have changed so much. How can I get this person back? How can I lie again? Or how can I get this person to believe me now? How can I apologize? Like, you looking at someone... I don't know if you're jealous or you just like shocked, like you thought you brought this person down with a frown, but this person stood up with a smile, honey. This person is an earth angel, a star seer, chosen one, divine feminine, empress, queen of pentacles. You something that you did, you whatever you did to this divine feminine, divine masculine, you made this person stronger. This person strong on her throne. It's like this person, yeah, you wonder why this person don't text you, chase behind you. I don't know whatsoever. But this is somebody focused on their self, their health, their wealth, their corn, their business, meditating, manifesting, healing. This is somebody, they are at peace being to themselves. They feeling good. You could have a child by this person. Mm-hmm. Divine Masculine, yeah, you watching this Queen of Pentacles. This person's alone. They work by themselves. They could live by themselves. Or that's just, maybe they just keep their business to themselves. But you know you've done something wrong to this person. Okay? All right? This person could still have feelings for you, but this person is smart in a motherfucker now. This person is wise as hell, Divine uh, Masculine. This person is wise. I mean... You never miss a good thing till it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone like a pot of neck bones trying to get it on in the twilight zone. Divine masculine, stop playing, honey. Wow. You promise this person, divine masculine. This person could be a Gemini, this divine feminine. You had this person waiting. You promised this person this and that. It's like you betray this person. You cause this person a lot of stress, depression, anxiety, hurt, and pain in their life. Okay, something, yeah, something that you did, you lied, you you misled this person, you you love bomb this person, you like, and you still trying to do it. It's like this person, you wanted this the person, you wanted this person to be stressed out, you wanted the nine of swords. It's like you was trying, I don't know what you was trying to do to this person. You had this person waiting on you. You had this person thinking that you coming. It's like you betrayed. You lie. You deceive. You did some dumb shit. You could be stressed out over this person now, divine masculine, because this person is healing. This person have healed. This person have changed. So you could be stressing out on this person. Like I said, this person can be a Gemini, this divine feminine, or she could be any sign. Okay. But yeah, you, you, this person really had love for you. This person really had love for your dumb ass. And you fucked it up. You fucked it up by fucking with a water sign. You fucked it up. You fucked it up. But anyway, Spirit, give me... The seven of wands just jumped out of my hands and the uh, seven of pentacles. So you dealing with the earth sign and the seven of wands. It's like somebody's trying to scare, bully someone. Someone's got their spirit guys, ancestors. It's about to get somebody a beat down for real. Somebody's about to get a beat down with a frown. Okay, spirit, give me more on the ace of swords for the divine masculine. The Ace of Swords for Divine Masculine Spirit. Give me more. 
justice, something about court, something about a five of pentacles, an earth sign child. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So the ace of swords, justice, something in legal situation, court justice system, like somebody's finding out the truth, the judge, somebody's been finding out, someone found out someone's been working, money, lying about their money. Someone have not been honest with the lawyers, judge, with the baby mama, or something like that. Somebody's finding out that the pentacles could be a child. Justice. Something about a child. Child custody, child battles, uh, child support. Maybe you owe child support money. Someone could have banded, neglected a child. Like somebody could be paying out child support money. Someone could be going to jail. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. You could have a child by a Gemini Libra Aquarius or, you know. Yeah, the justice is five of pentacles. So this is you, Divine Masculine. This is you. Someone finding out the truth, the judge, the lawyers, five of pentacles might be you. Or this is a child someone have, like, getting in trouble, about to go to jail, or have to pay child support, neglected, abandoning a child, not being, you know, taking care of their responsibilities, not owning up to their responsibilities. Hmm, Spirit, give me more on the Five of Pentacles for the Divine Masculine. Two of Pentacles, like someone juggle. Someone could have juggled their own blood. Or you got juggled. Someone juggled someone. Had someone out in the cold, neglected them, and it ghosted them. All right? Someone could have done that to a child. You done it to your child, Divine Masculine? That's what I'm picking up. Like juggle. Someone juggled someone. Lied. Divine Master, you lied to the mother of your child, to your child, like someone was juggled. Either you was juggled or you juggled your child. You have been elected. Somebody did something. Play games, lied, manipulated, lied to the judge. Spirit, give me more. Like someone really had someone like going through something. You wanted someone to feel left out in the cold, abandoned, unloved, unwanted, juggling, juggling. Two of Pentacles, yeah. Spirit, give me more on the uh, Six of Pentacles for Divine Masculine. What's the Six of Pentacles, Spirit? Something came to an end. Like something is over with. Something came to an end. Something is over. I don't know if it's some type of money that you're supposed to get. A job or something. Just a minute, Divine Masculine. Hmm. Just a minute. I saw the world card, so um hmm. just a minute. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yes, this is something about a marriage, a relationship as well. Uh divine masculine, something about I don't know, someone could be holding on to a relationship or marriage or money. Somebody don't want someone to move on or move forward. Oh, this could be an earth sign. Somebody could be sneaky. Somebody's trying to take something, steal something, steal money. Someone's trying to be in someone's business, find out something about someone, get information. Someone's passcode, uh, credit card numbers, social security card numbers. Like, someone could be holding back from you to bad masculine. Like, somebody wants to be in a relationship with someone, or this could be you. Someone wants to meet someone, be in a relationship with someone, but someone don't want to help someone or give in. This could be a family member, friend, like somebody's trying to use someone. Free low off of someone. Holding back. So, I don't know if you're meeting someone or you doing this, like somebody... Wants to get back with someone, but they don't want to own up to their responsibility. They don't want to take care or buy someone or share their money with someone or give someone money or help someone or support someone. Okay, Spirit, give me more on the world card for Divine Masculine. 
So this could be whoever you think you're dealing with. This could be your family, your scammers. Like somebody's trying to steal, take something. Money, something about money. Be careful with money scheme. Somebody might try to get somebody in a, like a setup, like a plot, money plot. Like somebody is trying to set somebody up. Be careful with going in business with someone. It could be a money scam business, something like that. So be very careful who you go in business with, who you do business with, who you give your money to, or something like that, who you invest in with. Because I'm picking up scam, thief. Passcode, password, social security, credit card, some shit like that. Like somebody is trying to like hold on to someone because they got money. Someone could be in a relationship because someone got money. So you could be in a relationship with, with someone because they got money, not for the love, or someone's trying to do this to you. So give me more on the world card for divine masculine. What's the world card? Hmm. I don't know why I'm picking up a earth. Yeah, another earth sign. Yeah, the world card. Like something is over with. Something has ended. I don't know. Someone's trying to end someone's money. Or somebody don't want something to end. Someone wants to end someone's success, career. Page of Wands. This is you, Divine Masculine. This could be you doing all this shit. Page of Wands, someone's immature and petty, childish, fire sign. So this could be a childish fire sign that's coming towards you. Or this could be you. You could be the one that's holding on to your money, hiding your money, being selfish, dealing with some dark, demonic, evil people, witchcraft, black magic, juju, hoodoo, voodoo. Like someone could be into the spell word, to the cult. Um, page of wands, yeah, something is over with. You could be walking away from these people, divine masculine. So, something has ended between you and the earth sign, I believe. So, okay, so you could be walking away from your family or these people that was toxic, they had put some juju on you. Maybe you start listening to your intuition, you realize. You was losing money, shit, or something. They was taking money, or someone was using you, or some something. So give me more on the uh, six of Pentacles for Divine Masculine, the Empress. So you could be trying to give to the Empress something about making an offer. You could be trying to make an offer to an Empress to a Divine Feminine. The Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. So this could be you leaving someone, going towards the Empress. You're trying to make an offer. You're trying to give someone some money or something. Something about the Empress. Yeah, something you want to give to this Empress. Something about this air sign. <laughs> This person don't want you or something they did and you decided to walk away from them, leave them. Something about the air sign. They they like made you feel some type of way small. This person brought your, your uh, self-esteem down or somebody made you feel like, I don't know, somebody just took away someone's self-esteem, made them feel low, like someone... I don't know. Someone just used someone like a roll of tissue. So we're me more on the Empress. The Empress for Divine Feminine. I mean, for Divine Masculine. The Empress. Well, you messed it was a Divine Feminine. That's who this Empress is. So this is somebody you use, that you love or a baby mama. Okay? You give them to this person. You uh, something. Something. Maybe you, you this person is very loving, kind-hearted, and sweet, and nurturing. You know this person have a heart. You know this person uh, will forgive you in some kind of way. And so it's like you paying someone, you giving someone money. It's like you see the truth now. You see who uh, you see who's the real empress now. So this could be someone you have a baby by, a child by. Okay. So give me more on an empress. Empress. 
temperance. Yeah, this person is an earth angel. This person is a healer. So you know this person was in a barren's value, a shame of you. Like I said, this empress could be your mom or an ex of yours. Uh, the, like I said, yeah, this person is a healer. This empress, she could be a, a chosen one, star seal, earth angel, a healer. She's protected. Mm-hmm. So whoever you going towards, you going towards someone. I don't know if the spirit guy is sending you towards this empress, divine masculine, because this person is a healer. You could be paying this person to help you, to heal you or something. Or something about this person. This, person's, this person is not a person that look down on people. This person have a heart. And you feel like, I don't know, you know, sometimes people take people kindness for weakness. So you feel like this person, you've been guided, spirit guides you to this person. Yeah. You know, this person is a healer, protector, uh, protected. She's an earth angel, divine feminine empress. She's, you know, you know, this person makes you happy. Yeah. It's like this person, you know, this person can help you heal you or some shit like that. This is somebody you fucked up with. You lied, betrayed, deceived them for a third party, and you fucked up. Yeah, this empress is a healer. She's a chosen one. She's very intuitive. She's a leader. She's like more like a leader than a boss. She like to lead people, not mislead people. Okay, so she's a healer. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's sexy. She's somebody that's like a... Uh, strong on her throne she's powerful uh she understands she comprehends she compromise uh she don't judge people or uh, whatever you whatever you're doing honey spirit give me more on a page of wands for the divine mask i'm about to get off y'all reading the page of wands hmm. what's the page of wands spirit Five of one, spites and arguments, competition, jealousy. Someone got caught up like ketchup. Someone trying to get someone fired, jumped on, provoked someone. Divine masculine, what is going on, honey? So these people trying to fight you, divine masculine. This could be karmic people, your family, karmic partner that you're in a relationship, don't want to let you go. So these people. Or this is you keeping up bullshit, coming in with fights and arguments, a lot of drama. Spirit, give me more on the um the star card. Hmm. Star card for the bad masculine. Thank you, spirit. Ooh, we. Yeah, you could have ended a relationship with this Gemini Libra Aquarius, or it can be any sign. You could have heard of this person, betrayed, deceived this person in some kind of way. Manipulation, mind game playing. The star card. This is somebody that's been hurt, betrayed, backstabbed, deceived by you. This is someone that's healing. Okay, or they've been hurt by somebody. This is somebody coming out of a betrayal, coming out of hurt. To the source, I don't know if you. So give me more on the two of Pentacles for Divine Masculine. So this could be you or this could be whoever that's doing who or whatsoever to who or whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> Take your half fits. Hmm. Yeah, someone could be abusive to someone. Like, someone could have been abused as a child, abuse a child. Like, that's crazy. But give me one of the Knight of Swords. What's the Knight of Swords? Like, somebody wants to disappoint somebody. This is sick. So, what's the Knight of Swords for the Mad Masculine? What's the Knight of Swords? What's the Knight of Swords? The Eight of Swords. So the bad masculine, I, 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 I don't. It's a lot of violent in your reading. Eight of Swords is Gemini. Eight of 
It's like somebody wants control over somebody's fucking life. Like somebody's a fucking narcissist. Like eight of swords, Gemini, you want to control the Gemini. You want this person to be stressed out, depressed, anxiety, hurt, pain, stuck, confused, losing their mind. I don't know, like the eight of swords, like you rushing in, somebody's rushing in to hurt someone, to augur, to confuse, to cause some type of burdens to someone. This could have been the past or this could be happening now. Like somebody wants to call someone's delays, blockages. Like somebody, you don't want someone to move on, move forward, the man masculine. This could be eight of swords or Gemini. You could be doing this towards a Gemini or it could be any sign, okay? But it's like you're trying to hurt. You want someone to be in pain, confused. You don't want someone to see you for who you really are, all right? You're trying to fuck with someone's mind, energy, their intuition. Like, <laughs> yeah, hey, man, you want to cause someone's delays and blockages. You want to put this person on hold, have this person on hold, have this person waiting, and all this dumb shit. Like the eight of swords is like you could be abusive, violent towards someone. Spirit, give me more on the temperance. Hmm. Temperance. High priestess. This person is a high priestess. Yes, I am, baby. <laughs> but this divine feminine, this empress is a high priestess. She's very intuitive, psychic ability, third eye. Um, this person knows. This person knows about you, okay? Can't shit you hide from this person. This person is very close to God. Earth angels, ancestors, spirit guides, the sin, the master, archangel, Michael, Holy Spirit. This person is guided. This person is close to her spirit guides. This person is protected. This person is chosen. This person knows your secrets. This person knows shit about you, divine masculine. This person knows what you're trying to do. So we give me more on the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, this is. Yeah, someone, I don't know. You could be. Someone could be calling you out on your bullshit. Gemini Libra Aquarius, they could be calling you out on your bullshit, Divine Masculine. You could be trying to run away or get away or something. Or you know this person ain't going to take your bullshit. This person, see, this person ain't going to take your bullshit. So that's the reason why you might not come back towards this person or something like that. Who calling me? Who the fuck is this? Yes, hello. Hello. Oh, this is a scammer. It's a scammer calling my phone, talking about a sale. So remember I told you guys. Yeah, remember I told you guys, be careful. But yeah, this Gemini Libra Quest could be calling you out on your bullshit. You can be, you can be a Pisces divine masculine. Okay? You don't necessarily have to be an Aries. You could be any sign. You know, this could be someone you used to have relationships with. Some type of dealings with. It's like they see through your bullshit. It's just like you breaking free. You could be leaving it, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You could be walking away from this person. Maybe you and this person get into it, arguments and fights. Yeah, maybe this person said, if you leave me, Divine Masculine, I'm going to allow you. I'm going to call the police on you. I'm going to report you to the police. I'm going to tell the police you did this and that to me. If you walk away from me, if you leave me, I'm not going to go even further, but this is some dumb shit. <laughs> so give me more on the five of ones. I'm about to end this. The five of ones for Divine Masculine. What's up with the five of ones? Judgment, he says she fab ones competition, fights and arguments to hang man. Like somebody can be a friend of me, enemy. Somebody's coming out, like, okay, 
I started this shit. Yeah, I said this. I said that. The Haymans, like somebody's trying to call someone's blockages and delays as well. But this could be, like I said, you could be dealing with, yeah, this water sign. This is a page of cups. The Haman, so Pisces, water sign, cancer. This is somebody that's been star shit with you. This is a fake-ass friend. Now they're coming out of the closet. Like, this is somebody has been causing problems with you, lies, turning people against you, trying to get people to fight you. I don't know what's going on with you, the bad masculine. Okay? <laughs> but this is the Haman, a water sign. They're coming out of the closet like, okay. It's like somebody's true colors is coming out. Someone's been trying to get people to fight, argue, star fights. This could be a friend of me. This could be someone you thought was a friend. This is somebody that was sneaky. Spirit, give me more on the page of cups. What's the page of cups, Spirit? Page of cups. Yeah, page of pentacles. This is someone that acts like a child or earth sign. Yeah, this could be someone pretending they can have Earth in a chart. They act like a child. Mm-hmm. They've been keeping tabs on you, watching you, or you've been keeping tabs. So give me more on the page of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, they've been watching you work or something. What's the page of Pentacles? What's the page of Pentacles? The Seven of Cups. Yeah, they've been stalking and spying. Somebody got mental illness, mental issue, high, drunk, delusional. This water sign. Maybe they're trying to make friends out. Anyway, I am done. Divine Masculine. This is y'all reading. Um, all I can say is smooches. 